Stan Jubilesco here from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Antennas, <clears throat> with a couple of caveats for attic antennas, which I described in a video very recently. Attic antenna caveat number one, perhaps, might be a good word because I'm sure there are others. But it goes like this. When you have an indoor antenna, any indoor antenna, it's going to be close to the electrical wiring in your house. There's no getting around it. It might not run right alongside it, but it's going to run a lot closer to it. And therefore, two unsavory and unavoidable things will happen. Number one, you will pick up more interference from home appliances and AC line noise while receiving and B while is it number one and B or is it number A and two <laughs> well, whichever uh, and number two when you transmit you, it increases the likelihood that your RF will get into that electrical wiring and wreak havoc amongst the sensitive, poorly designed electrical devices in your house and perhaps also in your neighbor's houses. They'll love you for that. Damn radio hams! Stan Jibalisco, proprietor and operator of Amateur Radio Station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations signing off saying 73 which means best regards, and so long, which means di-di-di-da-di-da. Di, 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 da, di, da.